back and if you are new here welcome today we're going to talk about the March Boxy Lux and for those of you that don't know Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription it's $21 and every three months you can get the Boxy Lux box that's an extra $28 a month I believe don't quote me on the price uh, but I personally think that every box that we've gotten so far has been worth it. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I pay for this with my own money. And also, before we forget, if you have not done so, click that subscribe button down below. Click the like button if you like this video. And let's get into it. So I have not opened this. I just opened the seal. So I have no idea what we're getting this month. I've stayed away from spoilers because when I open it with you guys, I want to actually be surprised and not be like, oh, I already know what's in here. And it kind of takes away the excitement of an unboxing video. So I broke the seal so that we didn't have to sit here and mess around with that. So let's open this bad boy up. This is what the inside looks like. Ooh, there's an item on top. Every month you get a card and a theme. And this month's theme is La Veille. I don't know, something rose. It's, I believe, French for pink. And inside you also get an insert of all of the items in your box and the prices and details about them. So let's grab the first thing that was on top of the box, which was a Deborah Lipman nail polish. This is what it looks like. There's two of them in here. Well, these are mini size, and this is what they look like. These are, and let's look here on the card, the Deborah Lipman Duo is $20. So I'm going to pull up on my phone my calculator so at the end of this video we can figure out how much everything was. So these two are $20. These are very cute colors. This is like a mauve and this one is like a brown with some shimmer in it. So that is super super cute. I need to find another nail polish that I'm going to like because Kale is going out of business as you guys all probably already know. I stocked up. I will link my KL haul down below, but I need to find another brand that I'm going to love. The next thing that's in here is this bag, this travel bag, which let's see, Boxy Charm train case. This is another $20. $20 for this? I don't know, guys. I'm not, I'm not feeling this. I mean, if I wanted one of these, I'm sure I would go out and buy it to put this in the box. I don't, I don't know. So this is what it looks like. I'm not feeling it. Let's open it. I mean, the, the color is really pretty. It's like this duochrome kind of thing going on. And this is the inside. It's pretty deep, and it says BoxyCharm on it. I mean, I guess it's good for, like, travel or to store some makeup. But honestly, I don't, I don't see myself using this. If I did, I would be totally, totally surprised. So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'm, I'm a little surprised, BoxyCharm, with this. I, I don't like when they give us, you know, the cases and let me flatten this guy back out. I, I just, I, I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. This is not something I would expect in the Lux box. I mean, this is something maybe for a regular box, but not in a Lux box. The next thing that I see in here, ooh la la, is by It Cosmetics, and this is the Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. I'm super, super, super excited about this. Uh, let's see how much this guy is. It Cosmetics Convenience in a Cream, $48. 
Oh my god, so let's put this in here. Let's open this. I'm over here trying to add up the totals so we know what we got at the end, but let's open this. I'm super excited. This also says, uh, what does it say? How do you use this? Apply to clean skin in the morning and evening using upward sweep motions, applying to face and neck. Hmm. Ooh, oh wow, it has no seal. Usually it has a seal. It has that light fragrance to it, but like, like a face cream fragrance. So, super excited, definitely going to use this, especially because it has anti-aging and reduces the look of pores, fine lines, wrinkles. I mean, anything that's going to reduce my pores, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump on that bandwagon and try it because I don't know what's going on, but we got to minimize the pores. So, there's that. The next thing that I see in here is by Cover FX, and this let's look at our card I love these cards I really do because they give you all information so this is the cover FX perfecting face palette and this retails for $45 so let's add her in oh wow it does have a mirror and then it has let's see can you guys see it has right here is a contour two highlighters, a brightener, a finishing powder, and a blush. Now, honestly, looking at this, I'm thinking this contour is going to be too, too light for me, which is weird because we did put in um, BoxyCharm, they have like this little questionnaire that you could fill out about like, you know, your skin tones and what you prefer. So... I'm a little disappointed that this is a little light. Why would they put out the questionnaire asking us, especially stressing over the whole month before this came out, please fill it out, please fill it out. We have stuff that's specific to your shade, your complexion, everything. And then I got this one that's light. I mean, everything else in here, I mean, the highlighters are really pretty. Let's, let's swatch these. The highlighters are really pretty. Oh, wow, they really are. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but they're really pretty. And the blush, oh, the blush is such a pretty, pretty pink. It's right here, guys. This is such a pretty, pretty pink. But, I mean, I don't see myself using the contour because it might be too light just to sit there and have to build up, build up, build up. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed that this is too light for me and everything else is so perfect. So, I mean, I really can't complain. It's, it's a lose-win situation, but that's okay. Really liking this blush shade. I mean, this is such a pretty color. And I've been into blush lately like crazy, like the pretty, pretty pinks and the, and the mauve colors. I've really, really, really been liking those. The next thing I see in here is by Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion eyebrow cushion this is interesting this is forty dollars guys let's open this what an eyebrow cushion I'm all for the brows but forty dollars for a brow product open her up this is the outside packaging very sleek and pretty we get, oh, it opened, oh, this is so cute. Can you guys see this? So this is this tiny, tiny, tiny spoolie and brush, and then it clicks open. It clicks open. Oh my God, that is adorable. How cute is that? My daughter's sitting here watching. How cute is that? It's adorable. This is adorable. It's so tiny. Oh. So yes, if you see me looking over there, that's because my daughter's keeping me company as I film and I look over this way to make sure that I'm still recording, but this does have a mirror and I'm assuming, 
we open this and we're going to pull this tab up. Let's if we could get the tab off. This is really oh fuck. Okay. So I don't know if you guys could see. I was trying to pull the tab off and on this side here it splattered out. Uh Okay. Let's get rid of that. So here's the cushion. Oh, oh wow. I don't can we uh uh makeup wipe? I don't know how. Ooh. That's a lot of product just for look just one one pound. Oh that's a lot of product and I don't even think like, if you guys look at this, can you see this? It looks like cocky. Looks like baby cocky. I'm going to try it. I mean, this is interesting. This really is interesting. It's, I mean, looks like you'd get a lot of use out of it. I've never tried an eyebrow cushion. I'm curious to how it's going to work. I mean, if you're getting that much product from just a tiny push, I don't know how much you're going to get on your brow, oh, excuse me, on your brows, but I'm assuming a little bit is going to go a really long way and too much is going to make you look like Bozo. But the next thing I see in here is, oh, hello. I don't use lashes, but I love Lily lashes. Just <laughs> lashes are just not my thing. For me, it's just an extra step that I don't want to be bothered with doing, but these are so pretty. Every once in a while, if I really, really, really have to, I will put on lashes, but I just don't care for them. I feel like also when you use them way too much, you're destroying your regular lashes, and I just, I like my lashes, but these are really pretty, and these are the Lily Lashes. Um, they are Fox Mink. Gia lashes and these are $24 holy crap guys $24 for a pair of lashes how many oh wow it says that these will give you 20 wears so that's not too bad I mean for $24 20 wears eh. I will just put this in my if I ever need lashes draw and um, maybe one day we'll use them the next thing I see in here, oh, what is this? <gasps> Wander Beauty. I love Wander Beauty. Oh my God. We had gotten um, a mascara, I want to say four months ago, five months ago, from uh, Wander Beauty in one of our boxy charms. And I've been dying to try other products from them because. That mascara has my heart, like has my heart. Oh my God. So this is a lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask. Oh wow. And this is $34, $34. Holy. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. I'm terrified of peel off masks because I've used them before. And if you get them caught, like, over here by your little hairs, oh my god, it hurts. It hurts. Also, you have to be careful with certain ones not to get them anywhere close to your lips. I had used a peel-off mask one time, and a little... And we're, we're back again. My camera just wants it to shut itself off. I was saying how I did ha use a peel-off mask one time, and I got a little, little piece, like, right next to my lip. And when I peeled it off... I had kind of like a like a rug burn and then like this pimple came. It was horrible. It was horrible. But I am definitely excited to try this. I am not going to put it nowhere near my lips and I'm going to stay away from the little hairs over here. But let's open her and smell her. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, and she's... This... Can you see this color? Oh. Oh, and she's sparkly. 
Oh, she is sparkly. Oh, it smells like glue. Why does it smell like glue? Oh, I don't know. It smells like glue. I have to wipe it off, guys. It smells like glue. It smells like freaking Elmer's glue. Okay. If you guys got the Boxy Lux this month and you got this in your Lux box, please comment down below and tell me what you think this smells like. I'm excited to try it, but it smells like Elmer's glue. That's so weird. Okay, so moving on now. The next thing that I see in here is, um, oh my gosh. This is Becca and it is the Ultimate Lipstick Love. Oh, that sounds so sensual. A moisturizing eight hour long wear silky satin lip color infused with the next generation of hyaluronic acid. Walking spokesperson. This is $24 for a lipstick. Oh, let's add this in here. $24 for a lipstick. I just, I couldn't imagine that. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of lipsticks and I just don't know if I would spend $24 on a lipstick. I usually wait until they're on sale and pick them up. But this is cute. The packaging is a little thick for a lipstick. I love this sound. Can you hear it? And this is the shade. Let's swatch her. Oh, this is such a pretty shade. And it's so soft. It doesn't really have a smell. It smells like lipstick. I smell everything. I have to because I don't want to put something on my face and then I'm like, oh my god, it smells so horrible. Why does it smell like that? But this is a pretty shade. Definitely going to be using this. And what else do we have in here? Ooh, yeah. What is this? This is Moda Brushes. These are... Where are they? These are $30. $30 for two brushes? Um, okay. This is the new Moda 2 Piece Powder and Soft Glow Kit. Two brushes for $30. $29.99. Let's put that in here. Two brushes for $30. I mean, so, I mean, you're really getting a bang for your buck in, in this box so far with all of these items. Personally, I would never buy two brushes for $30. I just wouldn't spend $30 just for two brushes. These two brushes better change my life. Like, they better clean themselves. They better apply my makeup for me. Like, if I said, hey, apply my makeup, they better apply my makeup. But let's take them out. Obviously, they're pink. Or like the chromey pink because this month's box is pink and this is what this one looks like very soft they're very very soft this one's a little like too soft like there's no I can't think of the wording right now but it's almost like you're gonna put it on your face and it's just gonna so that's interesting let's take a look at this guy this is cute this one has a little bit, that's the word I was looking for, density. Sometimes speaking is hard, sometimes thinking is hard. This has a little bit more density. This is, and it's very soft, so I'm interested in using this. And guys, we're down to the last, last thing in here, and I know what it is because I read it on the card. And this is, um... The 15D Day Slayer by Morphe. Guys, this is one of my favorite palettes. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna open it. Um, I have this, and this is one of my favorite, favorite palettes for the fall. 
Give me one second and I'll grab mine so I can show you. Okay, I'm back. I grabbed my own. You can see this one's still in here. This is one of my favorite full palettes. So you have this big mirror and then you have all of these beautiful, delicious colors for the fall. You have these beautiful browns, some hints of orange, a little bit of shimmer down here. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite fall palette and I have this already. And this one retails for $16. So, what I'm going to do is, being that I already have this and I don't need an extra because I'm trying to use what I have and I don't want to have a backup as much as I want to keep this. As much as I want to keep this, I'm going to give it away to one of you guys. So here's what we have to do. One, you must be subscribed to my channel for the giveaway. Two, make sure you like this video. And three, leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite palette for spring is or what your must-have palette for spring is that you cannot live without during the springtime. Remember, I'm I'm so mad because I have this and I love it. But I'm going to give it to you guys because I love you guys too. So remember, comment, must be subscribed, and like this video. And today is Monday. I will leave this open until Wednesday. And Wednesday afternoon, I will pick a winner. So, one of you lucky beauties are going to get this beautiful palette. And you guys are going to absolutely love, love it. This is my favorite fall palette. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for you guys. And, of course, this is the first giveaway that I'm ever doing on my channel. So that makes me even more, more, more excited. Okay, guys. Enough of that excitement. Upon my calculations of this month's BoxyCharm for... $300.99 worth of products. How can you go wrong? You really possibly cannot go wrong in any way, shape, or form with getting BoxyCharm. Oop, I just kicked you guys. I'm so excited. Um, you, you can't go wrong. You really can't. I'm super, super excited about the lipstick. Um, definitely going to use this, and I will update you guys um, about how this is going. The nail polishes I'm super excited about because they're real pretty pretty colors and they look like that uh, they're gonna last so I'll let you guys know how that works out. The lashes you guys know. I'm gonna put them in my drawer eventually maybe one day I might use them. I, I don't know. I'm super super interested in this brow product because I'm curious if this is going to go good or go bad. I will update you guys on this. The cover FX thing, I'm a little disappointed, but I can get over it because I, there's other products in here that I can use, so it's not a loss at all. The brushes are on the iffy side. The sheet mask, the peel, it's not a sheet mask. Oh my God. The peel off mask is uh, quite interesting, even though it smells like glue. And the bag... I could have really honestly done without the bag. Um, you know what? I'm going to toss this in the giveaway as well. I'm going to toss the bag and the Morphe palette in the giveaway because I'm not going to use it. There's no use in keeping it. So the bag and the Morphe palette will be yours. Guys, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell so you know every single time I upload a new video. And until next time, bye guys.